think so? Oh, she stayed. Go ahead, darling. Ten four, you see he's blowing the glass of that bill up at the back door open and he's really blowing her hinges off. Thank you, Juju. Okay, bring her on. Get up. Oh, I used to do this there, Captain Morgan. I used to have a nice cup of coffee and nice smoke, but I can't. There's got too small of a hole in there. With my big mouth, there should be a great big hole, but there's not. Okay, bring her back. I four Roger. Hi, yeah, big head too. Okay, Captain Morton. Have you made your phone call up here yet, Captain Morton? Okay, catch you later. Into the studio. Yeah, I haven't heard the phone ring. Oh, Sandy there for a second. Okay. For CHSA news, you know, they're going to rush this down. For their, <laughs> yeah, blood we should rush this down for their six o'clock news. What are you doing, all the drum? <laughs> <laughs>
Take care. God bless. Go ahead. FM 65, 14, 30 here. We're on fire here. Yeah, this is the first time I've been staying up with you because I can't stay up late. So, uh, my first night, so I work. Uh, wish you all the good luck and a good number to your house, my house, I'm sure. Then, Roger, guy, take her easy. We're standing by. Go ahead. 
Yeah, the break for me, go ahead. Yeah, you get your television on uh, and you get the feedback. left, right? And I want to add live here for a few minutes. The studio is just full in exactly two minutes. Uh, Rick Mantle is going to break a world CV record for constant on the air. And, uh, he's still fresh over there. He's, do, he's going big there. It's one minute. Let's go now. It's 45 seconds, I hope. Is this the cable channel? 30 seconds. Everybody want to count? We're by. Hey, how you doing, guy? Very tired. 30 seconds. 29, 28. Everybody start counting. 26, 25. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 11. 
Well, I didn't think I'd be here tonight for the other half of this check, but uh, he did it, so I got 50 more dollars to give to the fund. 50 more dollars in fund electronics. <coughs> I didn't properly introduce the guest yet, Mike Gifford of Funding Electronics, and uh, Bob Richardson uh, right next to Mike. He is the Vice Chairman of the United Way, and Bev Fowler on the end, the Campaign Chairman of the uh, 1977 campaign. Now, who would like to start, Bev? Thank you, Bob. Uh, Bob, on behalf of the uh, United Way of St. John, uh, I want to express our thanks uh, to Rick uh, for the tremendous support and the tremendous enthusiasm uh, that he's shown to our community on behalf of United Way uh, in, in helping with this year's campaign. Not only has Rick managed to raise over $3,100 uh, for United Way, he's also provided an opportunity uh, for us to bring the United Way story to the community. So I know that there are a whole lot of people in St. John that know a whole lot more about United Way because of Rick's tremendous effort. Uh, I'd also like to congratulate Rick on his tremendous feat and on his world record. Uh, and uh, of course, as we talk, his record uh, uh, grows and grows. So our congratulations to Rick and our, our great thanks to him and to all of the people uh, who contributed to United Way uh, during his marathon. This really is people helping people, as the United Way motto, motto goes, right? That's exactly right, Bob. Did uh, Rick approach any of you people uh, before this started to do it on behalf of the United Way? Uh, I don't know if it was you people or something else, Bob? Uh, he approached our, man our executive director, Frank Urban, who brought the idea forth, and we are just delighted uh, with uh, Rick selecting United Way to do his marathon on our behalf and to uh, the tremendous support from all the people out in the audience uh, through this year, 54 hours. I want to add my congratulations to Rick. As Bev has said, we're very, very pleased at United Way to have had the opportunity to bring our story through Rick Mantle to so many people in this city. We endeavor to get our story forth, uh, in particular during our campaign, and this has just been an excellent way. And I want to uh, add my congratulations to Rick and my thanks to Fundy Cable and to the people who have donated and supported this uh, fund, uh, this United Way drive uh, in support of Rick Mantle. Thank you, Bob Richardson. Uh, anything to add, Bev? Well, I, I uh, didn't get a chance to thank Mike for his uh, his last contribution. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Just yes, excellent, Mike. Thank you. Well, well, big, big Mike spent uh, <coughs> heartening us all evening with some of the great old CB stories, and uh, they're fantastic. And we got a new CB beer. I think our program director is going to be a new CB beer. We're recruiting them here tonight. Babysitter is going to be your handle. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, we're really recruiting CB beers here tonight, and it's, it's great <coughs> media. Uh, are we going to go back to Rick now, or? Yeah, okay, we're going back now. It's five minutes to one o'clock, and the studio is just full. You can still come down and see Rick. Okay, we're going to go over to Rick. Go ahead. Go ahead, Phil. How much have you been doing here, Kelly?
Watch it, Rick. Go ahead. Hey, Rick, you proved it. You done her, boy. You going for uh, more time, or are you going to end her there? What's that? You going for more time? Oh, just a couple minutes, right? You did a great job there, Rick. Really fantastic. Congratulations to you, buddy. 65 to 868. Band of Bear, we're down. Go ahead. SM 65, 127 cents. Lady Band 2 back at you. And I'm so proud of you, Rick. Can we call you Super Sam? 399 Can we call you Super Sam? Don't expect to reach me, though. I'll be sound asleep. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about Lady Benjo. I don't know about that, but go ahead. funny that uh, helped me make it through it because uh, without those other people I never would have made it so uh, to everybody out there uh, that gave a helping hand uh, I say thanks He went 10 minutes over. We congratulate you. All of St. John congratulates you tonight. You did a fantastic job. And on behalf of United Way, I want to thank you for the money that you've raised 
for all the needy agencies that uh, are very, very grateful tonight. And uh, from all of us here at Fundy Cablevision and all the people in the studio, we just say thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You're a terrific 18-year-old St. John youth. Go home and get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to go to St. John. I'm down so right. <laughs> Mom and Dad are waiting. Bye-bye. Watch. Just grab them there, Kevin. <laughs> Bob, that was pretty fantastic. I don't know how I get back on here again, but here I am. I think there are some people that we would like to say thank you to. A uh, very, very special thanks to uh, uh, the management and staff at Radio Shack for providing the radio that Rick used all this weekend to Vaughn Electronics uh, for the aerial that's on the, uh, the roof here, uh, to all the sea beers out in St. John and the surrounding area, thank you very, very much for keeping Rick uh, going and for coming into the building here at 144 Union Street and uh, cheering him on. He needed that and you gave him all your support. To McDonald's who offered uh, more than $1,000 worth of uh, McDonald's certificates which were given out to uh, the people who first phoned in their pledges, to Creative Productions who made the sign behind Rick for the weekend, to Vets Taxi who did give us a uh, fair share on uh, the taxi fares that we had to pay for when we had food delivered, and to A&W who uh, uh, offered the root beer and uh, the buckets of chicken. It was just terrific. We've had winners there and we thank you very much for all of that as well. Yeah, and some of our volunteers here this weekend, fantastic. Uh, one guy that stands out in my mind, Sandy Bastrash. She's home in bed right now. He was here for a long time. Bill McLaughlin, interviewers, and uh, there's a chap from UNB. Uh, I think his name is Dave out in the uh, control room. Is it Dave out in the control room, Greg? Yes. Dave out in the control room from UNB? Yep. He Jim. Jim, yeah. sorry. He uh, volunteered here all weekend, uh, doing a great job. and. Uh, so any more volunteers? Oh, that yeah. I, can... I, I don't want to single out people at all too much. We had terrific people from the Volunteer Bureau, mm -hmm. who are a member agency of United Way. Uh, the St. John Ambulance uh, stayed by Rick in the, uh, the last 48 hours or so and uh, kept him going. And uh, to the many, many people who volunteered in many other ways, who came in and spent from midnight on till 7 or 8 in the morning, just keeping things going here and manning the phones when the volunteer workers were finished mm -hmm. uh, late in the evening, just mm -hmm. to everybody. And uh, Bob, I guess to a guy like Jerry LeBlanc, who's just joining us. No, he's, got Jerry, the bug, uh, he's got the bug now. I think, I think you're going to be the next host on Channel 6. <laughs> I don't know. We have some more pledges here. We have Francis donated $5. Michael Boucher, three dollars. Adel Blanc, Grandview Avenue. That's not me. Two dollars. Ron Lawrence from Millage Avenue Apartments, five dollars. Mary O'Dell from Camarton Street, two dollars. Mr. and Mrs. Sleep from Camarton Street, five dollars. Euclid Guthrow, Expo Street, five dollars. And Mrs. E. Gimon from Jermaine Street West, five dollars. And Marion Roberts from Grand Bay, two dollars. So I'd like to thank these people for their fine donations. Yes, thank you very much. And what's our final total? Do we have one? I don't know. The guys in the control room punch up a final total? 3191. That's a terrific total, and we thank you all, St. John, for being with us. And uh, thanks to gals like Betty Sleep who, uh, and Norman Jackson who came on and uh, got us through the, the late hours. We appreciate that as well. I don't think all these are on here from that final total. So I think we'll go over that, and there's still some more pledges in there that come in after this one. So It's great to hear. We'll uh, certainly go well over $3,200. So. Thanks very much. No, they want me to stretch it out. All right. You the phones I, are still ringing, by the way. You and I will set a record now. <laughs> the phones are still ringing, so we'll let them continue. Bob is gone. Yes. Jerry, uh, what sort of an experience did you uh, have this weekend? Well, it was uh, something, chair, something I never did before, and uh, it was certainly long. Uh, I fell asleep this morning at 7.30 in the chair, 
Somebody had to wake me. And I think Bob fell off a chair here. Uh, yeah. yeah, he fell off the chair today. Late this afternoon. Yeah, he was quite tired. Mm -hmm. I think he fell right behind us here, wasn't he? Yes. No, it was... Uh, the young fellow has to be given a lot of... Uh, a lot of credit. Credit eh? for uh, sitting down for that many hours in the one corner and and not falling asleep. And uh, I don't know whether I could do it or not, so... Well, he, you know, he was under an awful lot more pressure than... Uh, most people. He knew he was on television. He knew that people were watching him. It may have even spurred him on a little bit as well, eh? Because uh, he had a little bit more at stake. What was it, 55 hours? 55 hours, 2 minutes. 2 minutes. It's 10 minutes over the road. All right, thanks. Okay. Yeah. We've just been given the official count he went 55 minutes 55 hours I'm sorry and two minutes which was 10 minutes over the record well, that's pretty good the, uh, this is uh, I don't think the, the record he set was, it would be an individual record I don't think they could compare it to the record of the two guys that no that's right did it in New York because they did it in two different sets talking to one another and this young fellow had done it all by himself talking to uh, different people on the set so I think his record, in my mind, would stand out a little more than theirs would. Mm -hmm. As a as a CB or Jerry, uh, do you think that, uh, that this is uh, the type of record that the Guinness Book of World Records would be impressed with? I don't know. I've I didn't know there was a record of people talking on CB. I know there's a lot of people in St. John have talked uh, around the clock, maybe 12 hours or 24 hours, but I've never known anybody in the national to do it 50 mm -hmm. hours or 60 hours so this was news to me when I heard about this well we want to thank St. John and uh, if our guys are ready to end it we're ready to say good night we're very tired 54 56 54 56 St. John 10 minutes over eh? is that correct this time okay thanks and good night Thank you.